Hot Shot, Century Plaza Hotel and Spa on this Friday morning. Temperatures are going to look pretty awesome. The weather is going to look awesome by next week. So you're going to be outside getting some exercise. If you didn't know about it, hey, I'm just learning about this. Uh, bike polo, it's a thing in East Vancouver. Shannon, Mark, and Lindsay are here to talk all about it. Morning, guys. Shannon, you've got the mic on. How popular has this become over the past couple of years? Uh, well, it's been around for a long time, uh, and it's become very popular in the last 10 years or so. So, okay, I want you to come over here. Mark's uh, let me ride his bike, and the biggest challenge I have with this, and I'm comfortable with a bike, is balancing to get the shot off. So, Mark, thanks for uh, your bike right there. I'll let you jump back on. The bikes itself, Shannon, and bring your bike over here because I, I want people to see the length of the bike itself is a lot shorter than the traditional bike. That's uh, strategic to play? Yes, that's right. Yeah, we want to try and keep a tight turning radius uh, because the courts we play on are relatively small. Yeah. And so you need to be able to maneuver, maneuver really quickly and get yourself into position. Okay, so uh, the length is one factor, but what other type of bike, uh, if you want to play, do you need to get here? There's no clip-ins, right? Um, well, that's optional for the player. Some people prefer to be clipped in. It can help give you a little more um, power and stability on the bike. Uh, some newer players prefer to be on flats, it's just a little more comfortable for them. Um, this itself is a modified track frame uh, that I put the disc fork on, so that gives me a lot of stopping power in the front end, so I can stop really quickly and then accelerate really quickly with a low gear ratio down yeah. here. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm seeing Mark shoot, and I'm going to hold the mallet. Sure, yeah. The scoring of this game, if you hit it on the side, does that count in no the score? No we call goal. that a shuffle. Got to hit it off the end. That's right. Okay. How many people play on the court at one time? Lindsay, you okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't have this is normal. <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> normal. Okay. Yeah. Just check it. <laughs> yeah. uh, how many people play on the court at one time, and what are the rules that really make it unique? There's about uh, six people on the court at any time, so it's three on three. Uh, some of the really basic rules are things like you can't put a foot down. If you put a foot down, then you have to cycle the half court and tap in with the mallet before you can play the ball again. Yeah. Uh, other rules, essentially, uh, you know, the scoring rule, you have to score with the end. Um, and then there's a lot of rules around contact because it is a physical sport. Um, so just making sure that things like checks are clean and no one gets hurt, things like that. Uh, and then we also have a version, uh, like a squad, uh, which allows for longer games. And then there's some rules around, uh, like, substitutes and that sort of thing. And how popular has this become here in Vancouver? Uh, well, here in Vancouver, I mean, like I said, it's been around for about maybe 15 years. Uh, and it has been very popular where we've had about, you know, 50 members in the club. Yeah. Right now we're at around 30, but we've seen uh, some good recruitment last year and uh, hopefully again this summer. So... Yeah, you can really hit the ball. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to let you go there. I'm going I'm to okay. watch you guys do this. Because the thing I had the challenge with was trying to get the shot without flying off the bike. So what is the trick of mastering your balance, being safe on the bike, and you got oh, just the front brake here, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, mostly just time and practice. Uh, we encourage new people to come out and play. And we're very understanding of the fact that it is a very unusual sport. And it takes a lot of time to get used to the various physical components yeah. so we like, give people a lot of room and a lot of time and a lot of space to get comfortable with it and then Lindsay here's been playing for about a year and you can see that just in a year she's become quite comfortable with you know using the mallet and turning and those sorts of things makes it look easy what's the best way to find out more is there a Facebook group website there's Facebook so East Van Bike Polo Facebook group um, we also have an email East Van Bike Polo at Gmail yeah. uh, come by Grandby Park we're gonna be there uh, now that the weather's getting better most weekday evenings but uh, we have Wednesday night newbie nights and also Sunday afternoons or newbie days and we've got loaner bikes loaner mallets um, and friendly people who want to meet you and get you playing bike polo we might have to check out newbie night make this a thing with a little bit of training okay Shannon thank you very much thank you uh, Lindsay why don't you queue up one last shot for Shannon she can show us how it's done because I hear she's the sniper of the team the weather is going to be perfect for it Coos one final check in with weather before we're all done oh Mark with the save I love it bike polo hottest trend in the summer maybe more to come stay tuned